Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and today we're going to have a short lesson on contour and what it all means and how you can take advantage of it. So let's start by opening a new project in Cricut Design Space. So now that you have a new project open, what you want to do is that we're going to create our own little shapes and then we're going to learn how to contour it. So I'm going to start with a heart and we'll make our heart red. And all I did to change the color was come up here to line type. I'm going to come back here to shapes. I'm going to add another heart. And I'm going to change its color up here to gold. And we'll kind of put it together like this. We're going to have another shape and I'm going to make it a star and we'll make it a blue star. And I'm just going to add a couple more things here because I think the more pieces that we have on it and I can show you how to contour makes it a lot easier. We'll make this a purple triangle. And Let's see, let's put the triangle. Now I'm going to use this little thing here called rotate, and I'm just going to rotate it around. And I might just rotate it a little more. Let's just bring it down here. Rotate it a little bit more. Kind of so it lines up here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to add a little bit of text here. So let's add some text by clicking on the text button. And I'm just going to type in heart. And I'm going to move it into place. And we'll make it a little tiny bit bigger. There we go. Now I could curve the heart. And I could come up here to the curve button and just see if that's what I want to do or I want to bring it up a little bit, maybe this way. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, before we get into the contour piece, I'm just going to move these around a bit so we've got a nice little design on the go. And you could put a circle in behind whatever you want to do. <clears throat> I'm keeping them separate because I want to show you how to use the contour tool. So I'm going to grab all of these together. I'm going to come down here and click on Weld. Perfect. Now when I click on it, you'll notice down here at the bottom of the Layers panel, the Contour button comes up. So the first thing I want to do before I do anything is I want to duplicate this. I'm just going to slide it off to the side just so I don't lose my original. I'm going to click on this design and I'm going to come down here and click on the contour button. When you click on the contour, you'll notice that this screen comes up. Now I could decide to hide all contours and then if I click the X, you'll notice the only thing left is the heart shape, which is kind of fun in a way because now I have a design. I pulled out the heart from the design. Now remember we kept our original. So I'm going to click on the original. I'm going to duplicate it, bring it over, and now we're going to do something different with this one. So let's go back here and click on Contour. Now, for example, maybe I don't want the triangle in there, and maybe I don't want the second heart. I just want the other pieces in place. So now I've eliminated those by looking here on its Layers panel. And it looks like the rest of it's pretty well in place. I'm going to click on the X, and that's the only way to get out of it. And look at that, we have another shape. Now let's just make some of these a little different in color. We'll make these gold. So now I have a heart, and I have a gold one with the heart. So I've got one, two, three master shapes here. So let's go to the original. Let's duplicate and decide what other kind of shape that we want to make. So let's click on it and come down here to Contour. Click on Contour. So maybe we just want the two hearts and the star. We want nothing else. So I click on the triangle. I'd have to click on the H. 
But now as I scroll down, you see I can click on the letters right here. You'll notice one little thing. There are two extra little shapes, and those are the ones that sit inside of the letters. So I absolutely need to take those out as well. So now I've got the three shapes left. Click the X, and now I have another design. So that is a quick lesson on using contour. Now this is with the, something that we created. You can bring in other designs to do the same thing. The biggest issue when you bring something else in, it needs to be an SVG file so that it has different parts and pieces attached to it. If you try it with some JPEGs or PNGs, it's not going to work. Some PNGs will, JPEGs will not, so you can't do this. So look for some really nice SVG files, and I have a link at the bottom to uh, font bundles that has some free designs and some free SVG files that you can use to try this process out. So I really hope you enjoyed practicing and learning a little bit about contour, and until next time, happy crafting.